Okay, today on The Woodworks, we're gonna make my turkey meatloaf. which I kind of forgot about, um, but it's actually something Chance liked growing up because I used to make the turkey meatloaf with like some mashed potatoes and kind of be a nice meal. But I made this a lot and I've kind of adjusted it over the years to what I like. Let me run down the list of ingredients. It's three pounds of ground turkey, half a cup of breadcrumbs, one third cup of milk, three large eggs, one large chopped onion, four cloves of garlic chopped, one chopped jalapeno, two to three tablespoons of basil or thyme, or I'm using both, um, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons tomato paste, two tablespoons of the Alma Wahlberg's famous bell seasoning, and salt and pepper to taste. So the first thing we're gonna do is saute the vegetables because you do not wanna put raw vegetables in here. They probably won't cook down enough, so we're gonna take it to the stove and uh, saute the vegetables. Okay, so very simply, we're just gonna saute um, the vegetables we have for this. Um, we have onions, garlic, and the jalapeno. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, get the onions in here, and the pepper. Salt and pepper. And as always, I have my chicken stock right here in case you know the pan gets too dry. I'll add some. But this is gonna go probably a total of 10 minutes to get this kind of cooked down. Gonna add the garlic in. And of course, this smells amazing right now. All right, so the vegetables are done. Gonna shut off the heat. Gonna take them off the heat. And then we're gonna take it back to the island and combine everything and get the meatloaf in the oven. So I've sauteed the vegetables and now we just gotta combine everything and then make them into the two loaves. So I bought these um, you know, disposable pans. They're kind of kind of nice though. So we're gonna make two small ones. The oven's gonna be set to 375 to 400 uh, degrees, depending on how long you wanna cook it. But this is gonna, you know, probably take like an hour to cook. All right, so I'm just gonna start throwing some stuff in here. And then we have the vegetables that we just sauteed. Cooled off a little bit. And then you're just gonna wanna get in there with your hands and combine everything. And this, you'll be able to tell if you need more breadcrumbs or not. That's why I have the breadcrumbs out, just in case. It might feel a little too wet. But we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more salt and pepper.
And that's it. Ready to make the loaves. Just gonna split it up half and half. And this is my recipe for what I used to make for, you know, me and my kids and sometimes other people that were at my house. So it's, you know, three pounds. You can cut this down to two pounds um, for whatever size your family is. We're gonna put these in the oven. Um, so it's set for 400 degrees and they're probably gonna have to go in between 45 minutes and an hour. We'll be back. My turkey meatloaf is done. Gonna take them out the oven. Oh yeah. They are looking fantastic. All right, gonna plate them up and give them a taste. Okay, got my turkey meatloaf here. I know it's gonna be fantastic. It always comes out good, so. Gonna give it a taste. I put some red sauce over it. You can put whatever kind of sauce you want over it. It's up to you. Oh. Wow. I think I took my meatloaf to the next level because I have adjusted this recipe over the years. But right now, oh boy, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what to say. It's like the perfect bite with a little of that tomato sauce. I'm getting the onions, the garlic, the thyme, the oregano. Mmm. Wow. It is so good. It's fantastic. Please try it. It's amazing. Maybe do it with your kids. Have them mix everything together with their hands. You know, could be kind of gross, could be fun. I don't know. I love it. My turkey meatloaf. Try it at home. Yeah, again, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it, Rose. So subtle. When she gets shy. She nailed it. <laughs> Cacrawl. Cacrawl. Yodel hee hoo. Yay, Rose! <laughs>